Hello, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Yakutsk, located in eastern Siberia, is famed for being one of the coldest cities on Earth. Winters frequently see temperatures plummeting below negative 40 degrees Celsius, posing significant challenges to daily life and mobility. Nevertheless, Yakutsk is a thriving town with a population of over 300,000, many of whom own cars. While humans have long since adapted to life in this extreme cold, cars have not. Once winter hits in Yakutsk, cars bear the brunt of the chilling cold. The cold can make engine oil thicken, reducing its lubricating properties. Batteries, meanwhile, are also susceptible to extreme cold. Even being left out on one frigid night can cause chemical reactions within the battery to slow down, making starting the car almost impossible. Recognizing this as a major business opportunity, several specialized service providers have emerged across the city. These men and women use small, portable heaters and metal ductwork to apply warm air directly to a car's engine. На данном этапе мы с помощью гофры убедились в том, что картер автомобиля оголенный, то есть там нету никаких защитных элементов. Пластика, там, защитной брони, либо же брезента. Мы в этом убедились. Картер в доступе, в доступе свободном. И с помощью гофры туда э, поток горячего воздуха мы начинаем э, работу нашей пушки. This is especially important in the case of an emergency. На где-то примерно минут 10-15 будет так греть автомобиль. Потом мы начинаем проверку. Сначала мы проверяем щуп автомобиля, как у нас автомобильное масло. After about 15 minutes of heat, they can check and see if the oil has reliquified. In cases of events like this, owners leave the keys in the car. This allows the service techs to open the hood, apply canvas, and continue the heating process. At this point, it's necessary to jump start the car. As 
поскольку хозяин оставил автомобиль со включенным двигателем и у него закончился бензин и из-за того, что он так долгое время стоял, аккумулятор разрядился. Once the car is ready, they remove the heater and canvas, allowing the owner to start the vehicle. Итого, мы вам разогрели автомобиль, прикурили, сняли брезент из-под машины и также обратно поставили, использовали домкрат, прикурили, точнее поменяли аккумулятор и скрыли автомобиль. Ну, желаю удачи на дорогах. Если что, звоните. This lapse in judgment on the part of the owner will probably require them to buy a new battery and may have resulted in permanent damage to the car. Owning a vehicle in Yakutsk comes with a lot of extra responsibilities, and local technicians work hard to help protect their customers' cars from the elements. One of the biggest areas for heat loss is the windows. For this reason, specialized insulating plastic is used to line the interior glass from front to back. The process involves simply tracing the outline of the window and cutting the material to size. From there, they can be glued into place and then polished to a near-perfect level of clarity. This same process is then repeated for the windshield. A heat gun helps melt the glue and ensure the insulation material stays in place. At this point in the weatherproofing process, the car is raised so that heavy canvas can be installed. The first place they put the material is under the radiator. Then, another section of canvas is placed under the engine block. В среднем сколько брезента уходит на машину? Ну, примерно 3 метра. В среднем 3 метра? Да, 3 метра. Два слоя были. Два слоя? Да. Ага. This material serves two purposes. First, it keeps cold air out. Second, 
It keeps the warm air generated when the car is running from dissipating as fast. Finally, a piece of thick black fabric is installed over the front of the car. Вот этот материал мы сами шили. Он получается закрывает от ветра в минус 50 в холодный воздух, насквозь продувает радиатор. И в машине машина сразу остывает. В, наши, в наших погодных условиях, в наших интересах закрыть весь радиатор. This is capable of shielding the radiator from the wind at temperatures as low as negative 50 degrees. Это получает трех, три слоя. Первый слой – это визуальная красивая вот такая ткань, э, закрывает внешнюю сторону радиатора. Потом идет второй слой – это брезент. Вот э, ребята сейчас его устанавливают, монтируют. Для трассы, для э, долгих поездок мы сами вставляем вот такую картонную Картонка под размер радиатора. В теплые дни мы его снимаем. The warming technicians are on call for their customers at virtually all times of the day and night, helping ensure their cars are prepped and ready for the workday. Yakutsk is the capital city of the Saka Republic, Russia. The main reason why so many people live and work in the area is because it is surrounded by natural resources. In fact, while the city was founded back in the 1600s, the indigenous Saka people have been finding ways to adapt to the cold for thousands of years. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.